Phrase and Surfer SEO are the two hot favorite content optimization tools right now. I have used both of them and they both have different approaches to optimization. Today I will help you decide which one is the best for you. Later in the video I will share a free tool from Surfer SEO and Phrase. We will also compare the new pricing and offers available right now. So watch it till the end as we compare both of them feature by feature. So let us look at the workflow of both the tools. In the first step, we will look at the Surfer SEO and then compare it with the phrase. I have randomly picked up a money keyword best espresso machines from the coffee niche and a website that is ranking on the third page. Throughout the video, we will use them as an example of optimization in both the tools. Surfer SEO wants you to start with the content planner where you can put your seed keyword and it will come up with topic clusters. It is very useful for someone who is starting out on a topic and is looking for content ideas. The topic cluster will give you estimates on monthly volume and keyword difficulty. From here, we move to the content editor. Till now, it is all about keyword research and planning your content and not much to do with optimization. If you have your own keyword research tool and a proven process of finding keywords, then this planner may not be of that use. But if you don't own a keyword research tool, then this is free and can be a great help. I'm a big believer of topic clusters, but in my opinion, topic clusters or the content clusters are a hit or a miss in this tool because in some cases they were helpful, but in some other cases they seemed a bit vague. And also there are quite a few paid tools available for creating topic clusters that perform better. So now let's quickly see what Phrase does in the first step. Phrase starts with document creation. These are nothing but content briefs. I think before you start writing, creating a solid article framework or a content brief is a must. I have already made a video on how to create a content brief. So check that out. Under documents, it has four key sections. Research, outline, AI writer and optimization. This section is the heart of the phrase with maximum power. There are two ways to check SERPs. One is the research tab and the another one is you can check it under outline tab. You can copy paste or drag and drop the headlines, links, etc. from the SERPs into your content. All you need to do is to understand which one are the best and unique headings or sections that you want to include in your article that will make it stand out from the rest. Post all those headings in your content brief and share it through a shareable link at the top. In fact, if you are in a hurry, you can quickly auto create the content brief and send it to the writer. So all in all, we in a way start directly with the content editor with a tab for creating a content brief. Now let us look at the content editor of the Surfer SEO. As you can see, this is where we left. We click on the content editors in progress and it will filter out the remaining clusters. Open the cluster, open the content editor, and now the content you see here is the text from our sample article. You can easily import it or maybe even just copy paste the content, whatever works best for you. On the right side of the screen, there are guidelines, an outline, and brief. On the top, if you click customize button, it opens up a screen with few options. It allows you to select competitors, your content structure with adjustable options, and there are all the terms and phrases. Here, NLP terms are the most important from a Google's point of view, and I will make sure I use them in my content. Further, you can select questions, and lastly, some notes you want to save it for your writer. Once we are done with the customizing the settings for the content editor, we can go back to the content editor screen. Here again, you can simply drag and drop the titles, questions into our content editor and send it to your writer. That's the content brief part of both the tools. I personally find Phrase has a more intuitive content brief generation and comparing SERPs, but some of you may like Surfer better. What are your opinions? Which one has a better content editor according to you? Let me know in the comments. And before I move into the crucial and my favorite optimization part of both the tools, I want to add that Phrase has an unlimited AI writer which is missing in Surfer. It does not use GPT-3, but it has its own proprietary model that generates quality output. But like other AI writers, it does require some minor tweaking and editing. I think it's worth the price. Although Surfer provides integration with Jasper, 
which can be a useful plus if you are already using a Jasper AI writer. Content editor is where you can start optimization while you are writing based on the suggestions provided by each tool. Let us look at the phrase first. So here I can import the content from any URL and it will be imported here into the content tab. Note that the content brief is in a different tab and you can always switch between the both, making it easier to glance at the content brief while you are writing your content. Now, if you see in the right under optimize tab, there are some options in the drop down, long tail keywords, top topics, clusters, and so on. So the tool calculates the number of times the phrases are used by the competitors in the SERPs. They average out and guide you to use them in your content. For example, if you have used double shot four times, but it is recommended to be used only once, it can be flagged as yellow or underutilized, but it is still green because it feels it is within the limits based on the total word count of your article. Then there are some yellow ones where you are using that term a lesser number of times than recommended and the gray ones where you are not using the term not even once. There will be some red where you have used more than required and it will be red in color, which means you need to reduce the usage of that term in the content. You can even use the filters over here to see topic gaps, overuse and in progress terms. So you need to make changes and optimize your article based on the articles already ranking in the SERPs. Now let's see what's happening in the surfer. If you open the same article, you will see the content score on the right. Below that, you will see recommended content structure based on the SERPs. In this case, it is recommended the word count should be a little lower than what we already have. If you're not aware, I have seen that just reducing the word count has led to a jump in rankings. So don't ignore this. Further below, you will see some phrases in red, yellow, and green. Red is the one you have not used. Yellow is the underutilized phrases and green are the ones that are within the range. That is quite similar to the phrase. But my favorite part is the NLP phrases. These are the ones I really want to be aligned with my article. Phrase does not label its phrases as NLP or entities, which is a big bummer for me. But for a more detailed view, go to audit section of the surfer. Check the suggestions provided. It will provide you with a list of actions required based on the content score. Some domains from where you should be acquiring backlinks, internal links you need to create. And then under the terms to use, it will list down words and phrases you should be using and how many times you should be using. It will display the sentiment of the NLP phrases. This is again vital because you may be using NLP phrases with required number of times, but the sentiment should not be negative. Under word count, it will suggest to you the word count, the number of headings you should be using, or if you have any load time issues. That's how optimization works broadly. Surfer does provide a separate keyword research section, which provides you search volume, similar keywords, and questions. It is a redesign of what you see in the content planner. They have an integration with SAMrush, so that can be a powerful combination if you have a subscription to SAMrush. Also, they have introduced a GrowFlow tool. That's basically integration with your Google Search Console or GSC that sends you new opportunities on your website on a weekly basis. Lastly, there's a SERP analyzer that helps you to analyze your URL or even the entire domain with the competitors to identify the things you are lacking at. It can be backlinks you should be acquiring, keywords you are not ranking on, phrases or words missing in your article. This is again a redesign of what you see in the content editor or audit tool. All these features of both the tools come at a newly updated pricing that you may want to check. Before we talk about the free tools, let's compare the pricing and see which one works best for you. If you are a blogger who writes up to 30 articles, then phrase basic plan will cost you around $40 per month. There's an offer going on right now, so you may want to check that offer. The link is in the description. But this $40 per month pricing does not include the SEO add-on, which provides unlimited access to AI writer and keyword data. If you want an AI writer, you have to pay more. SEO add-on will cost you additionally $35 per month. Surfer SEO has a basic plan, but it will cost you $49 per month, around $9 more than the phrase. It comes with 10 articles to write and optimize and 20 articles for auditing. But more importantly, NLP will be available as a trial for 
one month only in the basic plan. In my opinion, you will have to switch to Surfer's middle plan costing around $100. While Fray's middle tier will also cost you $100 per month, but with unlimited number of documents. Surfer SEO middle tier will cost you $100 per month, has a cap on writing articles and auditing. It's 30 articles for writing and optimizing and 60 pages for auditing. Pricing for both is discounted if paid annually. Let's talk about free tools. Surfer provides a free cool Chrome plugin that gives you keyword volume for free. I don't know if there is any tool right now that gives you keyword volume totally free without any restrictions. Let me know in the comments if there are any, any such tools available right now. So go get this plugin free of cost. Link is in the description. Now you're wondering what about phrase? They too have some rewriters and freebies. You can try out their AI writer tools for free. The link is in the description. Also, both these tools go through changes quite frequently. So I urge you to check out my detailed write-up that I will be updating as and when there are changes in both the tools. The link to my detailed write-up is in the description. This turned out to be quite a longer video than I usually do. But honestly, I wanted to share feature to feature comparison with tools walkthrough in the video. I hope this was useful if you are still watching. Do follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter where I post tips on daily basis and consider joining my email list where I share once or twice in a month my SEO experiments, findings and other tips and tricks related to online business. That is it for today. Over and out.